stretching it out for 2024. Ah, well, are you excited? Oh, I hope so. Well, it is that time of year again. Yeah, the end of the year. Or the beginning of the year coming up. Oh, crikey, it's just too confusing. Is it millennium? No? Oh, okay. Well, today I want to talk about some things. Yeah, I want to talk about the comings of the comings. I want to talk about Liz Truss and her honours list. And maybe a few other bits of stuff that's going on. And what does 2024 mean to you? And what have we got to look forward to? Well, it's probably much the same of the same, really, you know. More shit. <laughs> I wouldn't be a little bit surprised. No, no not at all. No. Well. Blind me. It's been a bit of a how to put it. A roller coaster ride. Not just for this channel, but politics. Politics in general. It's been a complete and utter shambles, wouldn't you say? Crikey. Well. Interesting, I suppose. Shocking as well. I suppose one of my highlights of the year is David Cameron and Kay Burley's response when she realised that he's going to be the next well, the secretary. Taking over from Sorella Braverman. And then becomes a lord. Oh, well. And now we've got Liz Strauss and her <laughs> peerages list after only 49 days in power. Oh dear. That is a disgrace. Well, I've got a little treat for you as well. Means it's uh, the end of the year. No clue. No. No, okay, well, you'll just have to wait. Well, I'm going to be doing two hours today. It's a Marcus hour, so it's two hours. Because I've been told I mustn't, uh, well, go too late tonight. Because she wants to see the new year in with me, you see. Yeah, her indoors. Who happens? Oh, I'm indoors as well, you know. You know, Caroline, the missus. My boarding chain. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> anyway. So what we'll do. We'll start by saying, Hello, everybody. Who we got here today? Oh, dear. I've all, I have seen some faces already. Some recognisable faces. Oh, quick, what, 30 people already? Not too bad at all. We had 14 people waiting. Crikey. Well, stop the greed. I'm here, obviously. Top Smoke's here. He says, enjoy since August. So, he's not weak of mind. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think I know where he's getting at. Well, anyway. <laughs> and David Girago. Hi, dear, hi. Just uh, three hours for New Year in Spain. Well, for me. I'm a, a ahead of you guys and girls. And I see that uh, Ginger's about five hours behind six hours from me. Yeah. Blimey, you'll catch up eventually. It's quite another six hours. Well, and apparently for, uh, for Top Smoke, they want to, uh, well, on his street in Edinburgh, they want him to pay just to go out. Has he got to pay for the celebrations or something? Has he got lights and something like fireworks? Huh? Well, I suppose. The clock is ticking. Maybe. Or maybe not. Well. Ah, oh, dear me. Oh, and Regan Ali. Hello, Regan Ali. I hope you're well, my friend. And Susan it. Hello there. I hope you're well in Belgium. I, I'm, you're moving, aren't you, soon, I suppose. Uh, I hope everyone has a happy new year. May it bring prosperity and joy to all, from all our family to you all. That's very kind of you and very nice, too. Obviously, that's to everybody. Well. I wish you the best as well, my friend. And all bitch, hello, the old bitch. Even all, even all, even all. Uh, and who's ever died, Thomas? Hello, who? I hope you're well. Good evening, all. Uh, I'll be back at nine uh, from a 24 hour garage, locked and loaded with supplies. Do you got any supplies? I've got some supplies. I've got my, uh, I've got, uh, yeah, I've got some stout. <laughs> uh, 8.6 black. Well, it was stout. It's nice. You see, it's therapeutic, it is, yeah. Settled my mind to do, yeah. Well, Doc Davies, oh, yeah. Happy do. Kipper. There you go. <laughs> and Gingers, since I'm five hours there behind you guys, let me know how the new year starts. So I'll decide if I want to recognise it. 
well, I don't, I don't think five hours or six hours in my case is really enough time to tell. No. As long as you've got Donald Trump, oh, Donnie, you might be back in if he doesn't get uh, disqualified in any more states. Was it no? What was it? Colorado? Was it nine seats? Colorado, and then we've got Maine as well. I think that's only like two seats or something. Maine and electoral seats. Uh, but yeah, let's let it be California, maybe or something. Anyway, more states are following suit. So. Maybe you'll be disqualified. I doubt it. I doubt it. There you go. Mad Monk 33. Hello, my friend. Hope you're well. Are you celebrating with your brother? And Colin Thompson. Happy New Year from New York. You know, I've done a sound test. I bet just do a sound. Let me just double check that everything is good. Because I don't know. Oh, what's going on here? Can you hear me? Oh, there you go. Mad Monk 33. Yes, I've got sound. Oh, and a good start. It's usually a good idea to have sound, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> so good evening, peeps. Hope you're all well, says Mad Monk 33. He's got a spanner, he has, yeah. Apparently, there's something else you can do now. I don't know what it is. I, I, I got a glimpse of it earlier. The, the, yes, anyway, we'll find out later. The spanner says. Uh, do, 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 do. I, I know that guy. Oh, that's me. Yeah, I know you do, mate. I know you do. And I hope the missus is okay. I like your missus. I think she's funny. <laughs> uh, should an old acquaintance be a f uh, old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and old lang sang? Oh, sign. I don't sign. Happy New Year, everyone. Oh, do, I to do, do, do we really want to forget them all? I don't know. Craig, we've got to remember them, haven't we? We've got to remember these Tory scumbags, such as Liz Truss. Is further contaminating the, the House of Lords. Oh, God. I know we've got Russians in there. We've got some young girl in there. I don't know what she's about. Is she something to do with Boris Johnson? Looks just like him. Is she a spawn? <sighs> Brian McGraw, comments of the season to everyone, says Brian. And very cute. Nobody seems to understand. Oh, he jumped up. He gone. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh my God, it's quite fair. Uh, nobody doesn't understand how big thing the cleaning is for London. Okay. They process EU-based trade one trillion every day. One trillion. EU-based trade one trillion every day. They process EU. Crikey. That ain't so easy now, is it? No. Every day in London gets a small slice of that. Oh, you talk. Oh, Cookie, you're talking about. Euro clearing. Ooh. Oh, there. That is going to disappear. Blind me. Oh, well, it's positive news today, okay? It's all positivity and silly shit, okay? Yeah. Uh, let's not get grumpy. <laughs> is there such a thing as positive news in the UK? Probably not. Okay, I'll give it my take anyway. Oh, Brian. Uh, Brian Maguire. Compliments of the season. And we've got nobody seems to understand the big thing about clearing is for, for London. No, they do not. You are 100% right, Vertigo. No one's talking about it. It's a major deal. Major deal. One trillion a day. But that was half percent of that. It's a massive amount of money. It's not even that, though, is it? It's even less than that, but it still is a massive amount of money. Hi, all in the chat. I can't say hi uh, to you individually as I'm on my phone. Uh, too much hassle to tie about. I, I have to admit. YouTube needs to sort that Smaller one. in number, are we? And do you know what else? But larger in about mind. YouTube. <laughs> you have your online, yeah, you know, what you can do on your, you know, your app on your phone. But when you go into, like, studio, it doesn't, it's not the same as what you can do on the actual PC. And none of it collates, none of it. Apart from, obviously, when you upload something. It's really annoying. Got to do things twice. Oh, God, you, what's that? Oh, what did I see? Wait a minute. My friend, thank you very much. Oh, all you New Year's bones, I keep the good work going. Oh, thank you very much. Well, we are going to carry on. I'm going to try and give it my best to keep going. It's hard sometimes, I tell you, because you, you keep getting like, knocked back and what have you. And the only time I do well in my videos is when I, when I, when I kind of, oh, no, end is nigh, all oh, shorts is the end. And by the way, this is not the last stream. It's the last stream of the year. Okay. <laughs> just, just so you know. Yeah. Oh. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, acting's mad, acting's mad. Hi, beeps. Hi, hi, you too. 
Uh, and Matt, hello Matt. I'll oh, get even to Marcus and to all in the chat and hope you all have a great Hogamani <laughs> and a wonderful 2024. I'm actually quite positive about it actually because my woodworking channel's doing really, really well. Don't earn a lot of money yet. Although keeps, the people keep sending me, the businesses keep sending me stuff to play with. I don't mind that at all. Nothing swords they mind, no. Oh, now that is a thought. Maybe that could be a new channel. Oh, anyway. Keep sending me tools and stuff, so I'm quite happy about that. So it's a bit of fun. But yeah, um, got 25,000 subscribers. Just flipped over the day, I did. 25,000. Crikey. But anyway, what, was it two months ago, I had, what, three and a half thousand? So I just kind of restarted that and done my silly shit on there, and then all of a sudden it's just gone loopy. Okay, a lot of it's from one video that went absolutely stupid. But there you go. So I'm quite positive about things, to be honest. Um, So I'm going to carry on pushing my YouTube. But also carry on pushing this channel as well. And we put more shorts up as well. Not shorts as in the one. No, not, not shorts or, or bloomers or anything like that. No. Shorts as in short. But yeah, the little vertical. You know, like TikTok type videos. And I'll also be putting them on there as well for this, this channel. Because that's how this channel started out originally. It was, it was on shorts. Doing short, short, you know, short videos. And um, I'm getting a tongue tied here. And then I went to some more long form content. And I got too long. <laughs> too long. And even longer. And now, oh my giddy aunt, we know what the Marcus Hour is like. You know how it goes. So anyway, <laughs> carry on. What have we got here? Got oh, number three, my friend. I hope you're well. You already know how it starts, GG. Oh. Do you know okay, yeah. You know, obviously, it usually starts with just people are getting drunk and falling over, basically. And then the fireworks. Yeah, there. I'm sure that's great for the environment. It isn't bad enough. You've got flipping Gaza blowing shit. You know, Israel blowing shit up in Gaza. And then you obviously got um, Putin... God knows how many um, missiles and ballistics that have gone over into Ukraine, killing people. You know, they ain't great for the environment either, is it? And all those tanks and other... Oh, God! And depleted uranium. Flip it now, we're doomed! We're doomed. Oh, oh, dear. oh, oh, by the way. I've got an announcement. I've got an announcement. It ain't really an announcement just yet. My daughter. Uh, my eldest daughter. Like a crazy woman, decided she's going to have another baby. Yeah, she already got two. And then almost off her hands. And now she's got another one. About to pop. She's just been induced. So it could be any moment. No. It could be a New Year's baby. Or it could not. We'll see. It might be a New Year's Eve baby. Um, birth, uh, birthday, uh, birth, uh, birthday for the baby. Might be. Either way, it's a birthday. And it's a baby. I'm getting tongue-tied here. I'm losing my train of thought. Anyway, you've met my uh, daughter, uh, Karina, who was, um, we did a live stream together, and she, she's doing, like, she works for a charity, what have you, in the United Kingdom. So, I, I dare say she won't be working for a bit. She'll be looking after the baby. Yeah. Got too many grandchildren. They cost a flipping fortune. Send them up the flipping chimneys, I say. Yeah. You know what he says. I think he's rather uplifting. Yeah. That's what he reckons. So, <laughs> you can sort of uplift them into the chimneys, maybe. So, uh, who else we got here at the moment? Colin Thompson. Hello, Colin. Hi, hi. And con man. Who's a con man? Con man? No, that's Tories. Tories are con men, you know. Con man, sir. I have explosive diarrhea. Okay, there you go. Make you feel better. Does it make you want to go? No? Okay. Yeah, explosive diarrhea. And it's all gone over my house. And legs. What should I do? Go and lay in a bath. For everybody else's sake, just go and lay in the bath. You got it's like it's like a shield, yeah. It's like side screens and stuff. Oh, explosive diarrhea. As long as it's coming out of both ends. Oh my god, yeah, that's crikey. That ain't great when that happens, is it? No. Oh, blimey, God, you know, you're, you're throwing me now. Just think about. Oh, I think the can cope me. And the fact that, did you know, that, you might know, or you might not know, but did you know, that, look <laughs> at that mug of my worms out of a minute, <laughs> that Nova virus has trebled this year, from last year's figures, and I'm talking about the NHS figures, trebled, and did you know, that norovirus, you get that from the faecal oral route, oh what is that, from the arse to mouth, Mm-hmm. Arse to mouth. 
And it'll have to be your ass either. It'll be somebody else's. Oh, what comes out your bottom? Poop. Uh huh? Ends up in the rivers and seas and what have you. People go swimming in it and paddling. Especially this time of year. Not so especially this time of year, but people do. They go paddling this time of year in the freezing cold, apparently. It makes all your nipples up. Anyway, let's not get into that. Well, I blame Tori's the coffee. But also, I blame a Liz Truss for cutting that. I can't remember what was it, 150 million or something stupid. That's a lot of money anyway from the Environment Agency's uh, budget. She flaunted it as some kind of massive achievement, but she cut their budget. She didn't make things better, she just cut the budget. It's just like, uh, well, that other moron, what's his name again? Oh, yeah, Elon Musk. And the fact that he, well, cut 80% of his staff. And now, obviously, there's no one to actually. Well, well, actually, no, actually, no, I don't know who's doing it, actually. No. There shouldn't be anyone there to actually censor anything. But my dear Caroline got censored. She got banned for life. She wasn't allowed, she's not allowed to actually, this is quite an achievement, actually. She's not allowed to re, um, to try to get a new account or anything. She's been banned. But how? She's barely posted anything. Okay, he generally reposted stuff that I put on, but I didn't get banned. She got banned. Well, she, can't, she can't get a Twitter account anymore. <laughs> Work that one out. And when you try, you can't appeal on there because there's no one to appeal to now. It's just case it goes to some kind of algorithm or, oh no, it's actually like a question and answer page. Oh dear. <laughs> She was quite offended, actually. She was really upset about it. Not because she wanted to keep a Twitter, but because she's, uh, why me? She goes, what have I done wrong? <sighs> Dear me. Maybe she's too straight-laced. That's what it is, isn't it? They just want all, you know, right-wing people on there. People who agree with uh, Elon Musk. That's what he wants, you know. Censorship. Well. Oh, where was I? <laughs> I lost it again, didn't I? Hey, uh, okay, so he's got diarrhea. He got diarrhea. That's okay. That's not not so great to know. Oh, so okay. Uh, sweeteners, come on, man. They cause explosive. Ooh. Okay, don't take sweeteners then. Uh, consult Donald Trump for that problem. <laughs> consult Donald Trump. <laughs> You're in an orange poo if you do that. Oh dear. Uh, come on, man. Sit on the toilet. It's easier this way. No, just get in the bath. If you got, if you got a shower above the bath, maybe bring the shower curtain round. And you can you can rinse yourself down as you go. Bring a little table close by, put a few beers on there. You can make a night of it. You know how it is. It's New Year's. You've got to do it, you know. <laughs> Jasper, hello there. I can hear them now. They spend 400 euros on fireworks and four of them uh, walking around the villages uh, making a racket. You're talking about teenagers? Because I would be a bit surprised. As long as I'm not tying them to cats. Don't do that. No. There was a stint of a war about, weren't there? Some horrible people. Politics Channel. Hello, Politics Channel. I hope you're well, my friend. Uh, smash the old like button. Oh, yeah, beep, boop, boop, boop. The old like button helps the channel. You know, there it is. Look, see that? There's like, there's also subscribe as well. A little bell icon there. And then maybe, it might be if YouTube's kind to me, it might give you a notification. Might do. Or might not. Well. <laughs> Oh, hello, Slayer. I hope you're well. Never hears a hogganamity before. Oh, no, oh, great, you know. Uh, Mar uh, all sorts. Marcus, you want us to start talking about all comings without going in the Tory party ourselves. Yeah, that's it. The comings are going. Why not? <laughs> I will be talking about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do about this trust first, though. Yeah. I've got a little, a little thing to share, a little song to share with you, okay? A song. Don't worry, I'm not singing it. Pretty cool, I'll tell you. It's four minutes long, but it's really cool. And I'll probably get demonetized, but what the hell? It's New Year's. So, <laughs> I'm always getting demonetized. So what the... Actually, last week I didn't get demonetized for a change. Uh, I didn't get a view, so anything anyway. So, anyway, uh, I thought the only way to get banned on, on X was to insult Elon Musk. That's what Ginger's saying. That's what I thought. But no. You've know, you, you met my dear wife, my little Caroline. She's lovely, gas. Yes, she is. You know, she's the sweetest of them all. If she's got no malice in them, she wouldn't say boo to a goose. Goose or ghost? Ghost. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. uh, starts a slow hand, clap clap. Yeah. The Politics Channel. Hello, all shorts. How are you? I'm alright, you know. It's been a bit of a tum, uh, turbulent year, I must say. Uh, kind of, I've been sort of like, clicking on my old fingertips, whether or not, should I give up on this? Flip it out. It's doing my head in. I do enjoy doing the lives and stuff. It's nice to have a bit of conflict with people, you know. That's, I do enjoy that. But, you know, it's, um, uh, watching the analytics and the, the subscribers, go, it's, it's, you don't, it, most subscribers go the wrong way. I don't know why that is. They're going down. Literally. Du, 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 du. Although, I have to admit, after I did my last, not last video, that video before, I started getting a few more subscribers. So it sort of corrected itself. But it's so depressing sometimes. It really is, you know. Because I do follow it quite closely and you know, I like to know where I'm going wrong. And it's pretty much everywhere. <laughs> what, uh, what it is, but I think, what I think the problem is with this channel, what I've done over a period of time, I've been naughty too many times as far as YouTube's concerned. And I've had too many strikes and stuff. And now I've been put into kind of like a no-go zone. They call it shadow ban. Not technically banning as such, but it's just like the algorithm just thinks, well, you're not necessarily that safe, are you? I suppose I'm not really. I'm a little bit kind of, you know. And that's kind of one of my arguments regarding, oh, political correctness. I, f I just feel that like it have just gone too far. It's just taking the comedy out of comedy. Comedy these days. And, that, you know, it's, you've asked me, right? Why is it that every flipping comedy show, from Friends to uh, it's Brand Boys and all those, whatever it is, type shows, every single one of them seems to require canned laughter, like a prompt. To make you laugh. It's like, why? What the hell is that about? It's either funny or it's not. Ew. Especially laugh day, by the way. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Not doing that. As soon as I hear that, I turn these shows off. I'm not interested. Fuck you. Yeah. Bugs the hell out of me. It really does. I hate canned laughter. It's fake. It's just not honest. It's dishonest. That is. Just like these. Flipping them idiots on Amazon that keep trying to sell me shit, all right? But ain't the, s the stuff, okay? Isn't the <coughs> that I ordered? No, I ordered some bottle openers, you know, for your beer. The kind you put on the wall, and the pictures are looked okay, you know, sort of some sort of cast alloy or something. In the description, it said aluminium. I thought that was a bit odd. But anyway, it said aluminium. When I got them, they were pressed steel. Contacted them. I said, they ain't what they're in the picture, I said. And they said to me, they're an alloy. And I said, they're steel, pressed steel. And I suppose that technically that is an alloy. Because it's got a bit of chromium in it and stuff, you see. <laughs> and they come back at me. And it's just like, oh, there's some battles and falls. But I gave up. I gave up because I got bored of it in the end. And instead, I made some videos about it. A company called Corda on um, Amazon. Yeah. Crap. Absolute rubbish. And ain't the first time either. We ordered the Christmas tree. This happened to be on see discount here in France. Luckily, we got our money back without having to do anything. Because their description, and yet again, their picture was not what we got. We got a blooming Christmas tree that looked like something made out of, I don't know, reused. Not even reused. So they're actually carrier bags. Look, they've been made out of Tesco carrier bags, but green coloured. Maybe it's or something. Anyway, carrier bags with a little bit of white paint all over. We didn't even want one with white paint on it. No. The picture didn't have white, but just a green Christmas tree. <laughs> and then it said, like, I don't know, 850 branches or something on the, in the description. And when Car Caroline, bless her heart, she actually counted them. She counted the branches, and there were 600. <laughs> little tips. 600 tips on this Christmas tree. It wasn't what, you know. And when we contacted, oh, you know, we sent over the number, the uh, SQU number and what have you. And uh, and I said, oh, that's not the one. You, um, you got the wrong, wrong, wrong tray. Blah, blah, blah. We offer you five pounds discount. Oh, a five, euros, sorry. Five euros off the office. Five euros. Oh, F you. I don't want it. Have it back. Come and get it. Well, anyway, um, C discount just refunded us. Because they admitted the tree was wrong. So C discount, fair to you know, it's, it's doing C discount in, in France. There's um, uh, for sale site here in France, a bit like Amazon. It's called C discount. Very very popular. And it's actually pretty good. 
and see this can just just refunded us but the system on amazon now you got to go through all the plowers sending it back okay i would say it, yeah it's not that bad because they pay the postage that's all very well but i've got to go like 15 kilometers down the road to actually go to the post office i can't be bothered i've got too much to do you know so you know oh, i don't know i thought make some videos instead i might still send it back i don't know we'll see but anyway that's it the fit my point being is the fraud and the lies and you're sitting across so many platforms obviously in government as well and i just it's just it's getting to me i want to make i might i might make a point about it actually stop buying loads of stuff and see if it meets the description it might be expensive they might uh, i might not work out anyway it's a bad idea so questionable absurdity says canned laughter is more obvious when listening to something foreign radio for comedy sounds terrible if you zone out from the meaning I just don't get it. I just don't understand why you need it. It's either funny or it's not. It's just stupid. It's just fake. Oh, so Mr. Cummings had a plan for the toys. I got the dastardly plan I have, said the Dominic Cummings. Yes, he was trying to take a free speech and at the same time keep spending money or we lose it forever. Don't let YouTube win. Yeah. No, um... They all kind of try to portray like uh, Elon Musk worry about freedom of speech and all that. It's fine as long as it suits their agenda. They don't. They're absolutely fine with it. But as soon as you go against them, they don't like it. They don't like it. They don't want that. No. And obviously, YouTube is about their advertisers, so they really want you neutral down the middle somewhere all the time. But how can you do politics and be that, be neutral? I don't, I don't see how you can. You're either right, left, or don't. Well, I suppose you could be down the middle. You could send that ground, but um, oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's any way around it. But there you go. I'm glad I do not need money for my channel. I yeah, I understand that. Um, number three. Um, I do. I do need to, to support ourselves because I spend a lot of time on YouTube doing YouTube channel and what have you. And not only that, I got the research and stuff. So I need to be able to get something back. So I can pay my bills. Otherwise, I'd say to myself, okay, then don't do this. Do something else and earn money. Well, traditionally, maybe. Um. So I do need to earn, earn something. I do. I'm, I'm absolutely honest with you. Otherwise, I'll just, you know, I come knocking on my door. Got to keep the wolf away, ain't you? So, uh, where are we? Da, 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 uh, Slayer says, Slayer, Slayer, Slayer. Hello, Ted Boy! Ted Boy! There. We are a Fato village. Uh, mine is Glargo, uh, but my new village is in Norway. Norway. Who's, uh, Queen has just stepped down to Denmark or Norway. I can't remember now. Which I think she's 86 or something. Uh, Colin Thompson. James O'Brien has a very interesting chapter on Dominic Cummings. Recommended James's latest book. Do you know what? I haven't read any of his books. Terrible, isn't it? Uh, I prefer... Oh, Bruin. Oh, oh nice. I like, I like, I like my beer. Um, although I'll get off the bit here again in the new year, <laughs> so yeah, back on the diet, get that all out of the way and back on the diet. So, there we go. Christian will send you probably Brian McGuire. Is that proof that he has lost a plot? Brian McGuire, are you talking about me? Uh, I, I, I have are you talking about me? Maybe, I won't be surprised. Uh, it's always a little oh, Antwerp, okay. Uh, living in Antwerp. I'd like to visit Bavaria. That's what I'd like to visit. Where I'd like to go and visit. There's a very cool forge there. A wartime forge. I mean, it's like massive gardens and stuff, now. Anyway, enough of me jabbering to you lot. Oh, crikey. Jabbering to you lot. I tell you what, I'm going to be jabbering to uh, old this truss. What a flipping shambles. Have I missed something there? I might have missed something. What have I missed? Do 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 Bless, 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 bless. And she's Britain's shortest serving Prime Minister. Oh, 
Is she really? Oh, yes, she is. Yeah, you remember her? She got beaten by a letter she did. Oh, it's shocking. Absolutely shocking. Well, the mistrust, mistrust, who spent 49 days in office, she dominated uh, the Conservative, uh, not nominated, Sorry, that's a different channel. She not dominated the Conservative donor, uh, John uh, Moyan. Uh, the next uh, vote, yeah, leave, cheat, yeah, Brexit. Oh, crikey. Matthew Elliott for seats in the Lords. Now, I'll tell you something. I've got a bit of, these are all people with money, all right? People with chip them to money. Why the hell do people with money end up in the Lords? We we want we want people who actually done something for people. Maybe a charity workers or something like that, you know? Where the kind of people should be getting seats in the Lords and not political campaigners and activists? Such as like Elliot Geezer. Not Elliot, was it uh, John Moyon? William Moyon, I don't know what his name is. And maybe Elliot has to come to that. So and we've got Ruth Porter, Porter, a former senior trust aide, and also made a pair. Can I give it bad enough? We've got Lebedev, Eugene, oh, Lebedev, a Russian. Blimey. I've got problems with the Russian, I've got problems because he's a father of AGB, basically. Now, they're going PMs routinely recommended people for honours by Richie Sudak had faced calls to block Miss Truss's list. He should have done. But no, no, no. But don't forget, he did compliment her on her tenure. <laughs> when he was handing, you know, well, not handing over the reins, when he was receiving the reins. Oh, dear me, these people. So she had 11 nominations, which largely consist of political supporters and former aides. Now, political supporters, these are basically donors. Why do people who just hand over lots of cash to the likes of the Tory party, so they can carry on being asses, receive these uh, peerages? Why? My wallet is wine. Can you just say that? He's, he's, he's starting to whine. He said, I want something. Not a treat. You want to wait? Oh, Christ. You're all looking at me now. Well, already. Lippin' dogs. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. I wouldn't mind putting the muzzle on this trussman, you know. Treating her like a... Anyway, uh, uh, like I say, that'd be another channel. Uh, there you go, Ollie. Let's say that. There, boy. Oh, you're yeah, a good fella. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Dora, she's looking at me as well. I got splashed over it. Go away. Go away. Right. So, I do appreciate everybody joining me here today because I'm sure you'd all got a good party in that, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. okay. You going out partying? Uh-huh. No? Well, I don't think I'd be bothered these days. I'm too old. So, William Sullivan, Senior Director for the Campaigns at the Electoral Reform Society, said... It will feel like an insult to many to see Liz Truss handing out peerages to friends and supporters after she her disastrously short stint as Prime Minister. Now, I thought you remember at the time there was some um, bit of controversy, wasn't there, regarding Liz Truss? And quite frankly, well, not just controversy, she tanked the economy. Well, uh, quasi Quartain did. Well, let's just remind ourselves. Oh, there he is. And this is the uh, former U.S. Uh, Treasury uh, Secretary Larry Summers. And he tells Bloomberg he did, yeah. It makes me f very sorry to say. Yeah, let's listen to him anyway. It makes me very sorry to say, but uh, I think the U.K. is behaving a bit like Can I speak up? an emerging market turning itself into uh, a submerging uh, market. There's nothing in the pattern of market response in the UK that suggests anything but fear rather than confidence in the policy approaches uh, being taken. It would not surprise me 
if the pound eventually gets below a dollar, if the current policy path uh, is maintained. Mm. If it wasn't for the fact that he sold lots and bonds, but you have to sell as many now, about 20 billion was it in the end, in bonds. You know, they, put, they set aside 60 or 80 billion in bonds, and they, they got rid of about 20 billion. Which is a bit of a success for the, for the Bank of England, to be fair. They actually did well there to try and put their old sticky plaster on. But still, that's still a loss. Because of an idiocy. But it just that has been an ongoing outfall from it all, hasn't there? You know, God, trade and public you know, relations around the world. Our oh, relations around the world, by the way. Down there now, aren't they? I ain't doing too well with that, no. I keep painting this rosy pitch, everything is great. But it clearly is not. People are suffering, they're struggling now. So, who is this uh, Tory donor then? Call it Matthew Elliott. Where is he? Who is? All right. Oh, look at her. And she lovely. Don't forget that she was a Liberal Democrat before. And also, she was, uh, well, not my King supporter, she was. Yeah. She wanted to get rid of the monarchy, she did. Remember that? Well, she did. Oh, I quite frankly, I think it's an absolute. That is a disgrace. It's got to be said, ain't it? She's right. It's an absolute disgrace. Port markets and all that, you know. Cheese. Tell you what, we'll sell all the cheese we can. In this new trade deal. With Japan. Oh, oh, they're not that close and tolerant, are they? Oh, I don't know. Oh. And we've got a trade deal with, uh, well, what trade deal? <laughs> it's all collapsed with Canada. Her little chair, her tiny chair didn't work, did it? No. Obviously had a broken leg. Well... They're going to find it harder, though, in Canada, to get their cheddar cheese. Oh, no, they won't. they get from Ireland instead. Well, just like, like we do here in the EU. We can still get cheese, as in cheddar cheese. But from Ireland? Yeah. Can't remember which one it is, no. We don't generally buy cheddar. We buy. <laughs> yes, I have a cheese board. And I've got some um, gouda. Uh, it's a six month old gouda this one is. It's Dutch cheese. And then we've got some mimile over here. This is um twelve month old mimile. And look uh, 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 and I got a tarizza. Up here. Like a hook. Yeah. And some crackers. And a knife. So behave yourself. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you gotta have the cheese and crackers, you know. Uh, I haven't had any news yet whether or not uh, my granddaughter or grandson or whatever it might be, a baby. Is born yet? No, no, nothing whatsoever. Not yet. No. I know she's been in the do so, but some sort of balloon thing they shove in there. Got to blow it up. I don't know. What, I don't know who gets that job. Push. I don't know. You know how it works. Inducing by balloon. Is that what they do? I, I don't. It's like some sort of. Has it got like a Woods's valve on it and stuff, or Presto or something? You know, the compressor nearby? I don't get a clue. Or was it like a leaf blower? Crikey. Oh, you're at five centimetres. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Little Quarto isn't born yet, anyway. That's what I call all the grandchildren before they're born. They call them Quarto. You know. Quarto. Anyway. The movie reference. Leave it in the chat. Well, so yes, Liz Truss gives peerages to Brecht Architect and a Tory donor. Oh, what about poor old Dominic Cummings? You know, the Cummings is coming. Yes, he is, and we'll be talking about him in the mo. Well, the House of Prime Minister allowed a resignation honours list to fight lasting 49 days in the street. That still shocks me to this day. That's nuts. So she, Liz Truss, has been allowed to confer 
a host of honours at Levenov and uh, three new peerages, including for one of the architects of Brexit, for a Tory donor, and for her uh, former Deputy Chief of Staff. The Trust was granted a resignation honours list by Richie Sodak, despite having to resign from number 10 after only 49 days because of turmoil in the financial markets. Oh, yeah, okay, we just covered that, didn't we? By her Chancellor's Grazi Quartain. Ooh, and his midi budget. He didn't budget much, did he? No. Oh, God. Blimey. Uh, uh, I got that one here somewhere. I don't know that one here. No, 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 no. Oh, it wasn't it? So. Oh, blimey. It's just. Uh, just uh, people voted these people in. What does it say about people who vote these people in? So, House of Lords, Matthew Elliott, um, well, it's going to be in that. So, okay, she was given the privilege of choosing three new lawmakers for the House of Lords. Matthew Elliott, who has helped set up the Vote Leave campaign. John Moyan, a businessman, party donor and chair of Vote Leave. And Ruth Porter, a former deputy chief of staff. These aren't the right people. I just aren't. It's just about what can you do for me? It isn't for the benefit of the country, it's for the benefit of them. Now, the Labour Party, to be fair to them, they said, we're going to shake up the system. I believe it when I say it, but they said they're going to shake it up. Well, quite frankly, I don't think anyone connected with the political party at the time should be allowed to actually nominate, be nominated. It should be outside of it. And it shouldn't be donors either. Because that's just like, you know, three million quid. And you can have yourself a peerage. So Moy Annual has given about 700,000 to the Conservatives, vote leave and a Truss's own leadership um, campaign. <laughs> that pan out uh, all together. Now Truss's list of also includes Damehoods for Shirley Condren of the Maths Anxiety, Tr Maths Anxiety Trust. There's actually a trust called Maths Anxiety. Because you're anxious about ma maths. But I think her husband's also a mathematician or something. He's probably just an accountant. Probably not even jarred. But anyway. <laughs> a Maths Anxiety Trust. <laughs> and the Tory MP Jackie Doyle uh, Price. Plus a knighthood for the Tory MP Alex Shelbrook. Now, former trust advisors, Shabir Amirali and uh, Sophie Jarvis will get CPEs, while Tory MPs uh, Rob Butler and Suzanne Webb will get OBEs. David Mill and uh, the chair of the Conservative Association in South West Norfolk, Truss's constituency, gets an MBE. The Sunak has been urged to block Truss's honours list, and he ain't going to do it anyway, he ain't going to block it. He's already allowed it to happen, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, ex oh I just know stuff in here. Uh, exactly. Honours should be for those committed to public services, or service, not rewards for Tory failure. They shouldn't be a bunch of... No! Kipper. They shouldn't. Blimey. Do you know what actually makes me quite angry? Because these people get to pay expenses and stuff like that. And these lifetime peerages. These people can manipulate our laws. Ain't it bad enough that the laws are all been manipulated already by these Tories and destroyed our rights? Take them away. Well, so how, who are these geezers? What well, we've got? Matthew Elliott here, uh, being inquisited by an inquisitor. Yes. By Andrew Tirry, you are charging again. You have uh, who have we called as witnesses? Oh, there he is. Oh, that's him. This little run air. Come on, have a look. I'd like to. Oh no, I shouldn't have said that on here. You're not do violence, are you? No, no violence allowed. Sorry, but I'm old school. Well, yeah, fifty country. Oh, anyway, they're the old days. I know. It's all a bit lovey dovey these days, isn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Well...
faith needs to be a head today called as witnesses you should realize that what we wanted and which you prevented was one hearing with those organizing uh, the stronger in Europe campaign and one hearing with those seeking to represent the vote leave campaign and it's because you've been mucking us about that we've found ourselves first of all having to have two hearings uh, with the leavers and now finally three as for the suggestion I'm sorry you're suggesting that Aaron Banks has never represented the vote leave campaign well he's voted a, he, he he is running a campaign uh, and was oh, seeking on the leave to obtain side of the on the leave side I understand, of the sorry. Good. As for whether we should call ministers or former ministers, we've called the Prime Minister, we've called the Chancellor of the Exchequer once, he's coming again. We may call a Treasury Minister to give evidence on a third paper he's published. Uh, but in any case, and we've called uh, the Mayor of London on mm, the other side. But in any case, this is a matter for Parliament, not for you. <laughs> and I'd be grateful if you get back to addressing the questions that Helen Goodman is asking you. I ain't just Elliot, no. Oh, Robert Jager is more trying to defend Liz Truss. Oh, remember him, Dothcat Bullock and all that, yeah. The geezer with the... And they're better and happier fish for it. I don't think they're that happy, no. They're swimming in shit. The turds. Gulp. A Nova virus. Crikey. Well. Honours to most ordinary people are meant to be a celebration of achievement. Can you remind us what the achievement of the 44 days of the Liz Truss administration were? Well, um, Liz Truss took on the most senior political job in the country of being Prime Minister, which is a role that comes with enormous responsibilities. Uh, she had been Foreign Secretary and held other jobs beforehand. But we're talking not about Truss whether she deserves honours, but whether she deserves yeah. to appoint people, for example, to the House of Lords. What do you think first attracted Liz Truss, the idea of honouring the millionaire donor to the party and to the, her personal campaigning funds, John Moylan? Well, I, I think um, John Moynihan has been a very significant supporter um, of the Conservative Party, a successful businessman, somebody who has contributed a great deal to the political life of the nation. And uh, it's not um, right to say that because people donate money, they cannot receive peerages. Equally, it is right that peerages cannot be bought. And the two are very different, that, that John has supported the Conservative Party over decades and different leaders. Um, he supported Liz and has made a great contribution to Brexit and to the Conservative Party. And I think he strongly deserved an honour. And you don't want to discourage people from donating to political parties. Um, trade union leaders get honoured. And they go to the House of Lords. And this too is perfectly reasonable because they're not buying their honours. Sir, J We've got an oven-ready deal. Put it in the microwave. Remember that? Not particularly oven ready, no. The architect, or one of the architects of Brexit. Dominic Cummings is back on the scene, isn't he, as well? Well. Oh, crikey, I'm forgetting about you. Oh, crikey, chat. Who we got? And what have I forgot? Tim Bowen, hello there. And when cheese a drawer opens, you've got to pay the tax. Oh, crikey, the tax. When the cheese drawer opens, you've got to pay the tax. <laughs> Come to Portugal, there, Joel. Uh, Portugal, and uh, a guy speaks with a German accent with you. Come to Portugal, and a guy speaks with a oh, crikey. That, was, that sounds like fun. <laughs> so, Joel, you got a German accent. I know, I know. You, yeah, part German. There's a bit of you that's German. Uh, the, the cheese tax. Uh, the cheese tax. You've got to pay. Ah, oh, cheese tax. Every time you're cooking, and when the cheese comes out, this puppy comes uh, looking. And the rules are the rules, and the facts are the facts. Got to pay the taxes. You got to pay the toll to the troll. But cheese tax, I confused already. Anyway, 
I enjoyed you exposing the carrots. You got exposed the carrots, you know. Uh, I like to speak English with a German accent. It's hilarious. That'll wind up with our Brexters, won't it, eh? I don't understand posh. Well, I'm not posh, though. Uh, New Year's outside Fishguard in West Wales. Uh, go on, and it's the 12th of January, and it's still 1,500 here. There. 1,500 there. I, 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 I missed something there, haven't I? Right. Um, I'm scrolling up. I'm quite getting missed a lot. <laughs> a vacuum cleaner might work. Oh, look, Mikey. All right, let's quickly let's, let's get through this chat. All right, let's get a bit further up. All right. Oh, hello, Duke Vengeance. I hope you're well. And Alistair Kit, I hope you're well as well. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. What have I missed? What have I missed? The UK is turning into a NK market. Turning into something. And we'll see the tractor protests is it regarding the, the laws, the EU laws regarding um, uh, perimeter rulings regarding what you can do near the edge of your fields. There's a thing called Lee Wrap as well. I don't even, you might know about it actually, Jasper. When I did my, yes, I've done my spraying certificate. I'm a, I, I'm, I'm a qualified boom sprayer, believe it or not. <laughs> and anyway, um, I'd. Uh, a thing called Lee Wrap, and it's basically there's like I think there's five meter um, zone from any water co uh, uh, water sources, say for instance a ditch or anything like that. You're not allowed to spray within five meters. The farmers don't pay any attention to that whatsoever. They really don't. I, I'm sorry, but they're the worst. Here in France, we're in the UK, anywhere, work with them. I know what they're like. They are the worst. They only abide by the rules, and they think they're not going to get caught out. No, if they think they're going to get caught out, that's it. Sorry, I got the wrong way around, didn't I? I heard the nasty rumour about 2024, but it was from a Brexiter. Said that they are going to be 13 months in the air to make the f figures look better. <laughs> they do like to doctor the figures, whether it be the GDP, whether it be um, the OBR or whatever, that, lot, that lot, yeah. It's funny, that I was, when I looked at the government's own figures regarding norovirus... Norovirus or no virus, or whatever it might be, the virus that makes you ill <laughs> regarding poop. The figures on the NHS site were not the same as the figures on the government site. And yet it was about uh, NHS admissions of norovirus because of there's poop everywhere. Lovely. Uh, oh, Susan DeWitt is on your own with the cats. You got the cats. You got to give the cats a cuddle. Uh, it's like giving the captain of the Costa Cocardia a medal for bravery. You li it's literally. That's literally what this on's list is. It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I am going to have to scroll down because I've, I've missed a load here. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, I can't swear. Say hello to everybody. Let's say hello to everybody. Oh, knife crime. Oh, let me be. I do have quite a few knives, I tell, I tell you. <laughs> I don't go around stabbing people, just so you know. Yeah. It's not the knives that kill people, it's people that kill people. That's what they're saying, or something like that. Oh, dear. And the laws here in France are very much the same as what they are in the UK regarding knives, but you're always seeing the French around here carrying a knife. Or just on the belt, if they want to see. So they cut the cheese, you see. Uh, we... I've said this before, it's a societal problem we've got in the UK and in the United States. And also we've got societal problems here in France and various other countries as well. But is it to the same degree? I don't know. I haven't witnessed no problems. I really haven't. The, the youngsters here, you, you get the odd few of a little bit belligerent. But on the whole, they're, they're very polite. You know? And for me and Caroline, we, we, one of the things we remarked on before... We were concerned. If we were going to a uh, corner shop or something, you know, a village shop, maybe a spa or something like that in the UK, and you know, the kids, they, they sort of like clamour around the, the door or whatever you do know, as you go in. It's a bit disconcerting. The difference here, the first thing we noticed, and this was in our local Inter Marche, it wasn't in Marche back then actually, um, was that they they actually opened the door for us. It wasn't all about the door, so they just opened the door. And that, that's the difference. I thought, blimey. You know? It's just politeness. And I, I think we don't teach it like we used to. 
and even shrivery, shrivery, that's the word, isn't it? Shrivery. As old as you say, with our sticks. Won't be long for me, I tell you. It was out with our sticks. We need a little bit of help. You say, open the door. Not me, yeah, no, obviously not. But anyway, the baby still not arrived, Marks. No, 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 it's still stuck in. Yeah, it needs a bit of butt around it, I think, or something like that. Oh, I'll tell you what I do. If I get a seized bolt, I usually heat it up until it's like white hot. And then I give it a bit of wrench and, you know, maybe a WD-40, you know. Just, just does the job, you know. Maybe I'll suggest it. <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> Cheers, man, Monk 33. Five quid for the, uh, right. Uh, right, I've just donated to the All Shorts Party. Can I get a peerage? Yes. You're going to have a peerage. Tell you what, we'll have to start our own honours list. I think that's what we're going to do. That's actually quite a good idea, actually. That could be some of the things, one of the things about the memberships and stuff. We can have an honours list. That's what we used to do. <laughs> what can you get for honours list? Could be... Smaller in number, are we? Could be free memberships but larger like in that. mind. <laughs> <laughs> but also, what else could you do? There's, um... Oh. There's merchandise in that as well, isn't there? Could do all sorts of stuff. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see the channel fans say, you know, find the best floor to do anything. Uh, baby's not arrived. Nope. Uh, I try not to cough. I'm afraid my dentures are full out. Ugh. <laughs> you think it's got some denture grip? Or a couple of rubber bands around here or something? I don't know. What, I don't, ideal thing for you, Jasper? A gimp ball. You know, it, that'll do it. That'll keep the old dentures in. They'll probably come out attached. Anyway. Uh, can't spend all of it now, do I? I hope you will. Simon says, even all a bit drunk, uh, might pass out. That's good. I'll join you. Uh, da -da 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 uh 55, uh, oh, Craggy, I'm 53. 54 this year, or next year. Yeah. I'm 50, yeah, okay, next, next, next July. Uh, Colin Thompson, nobody seems to want the title, Lord Brexit. We've got a Lord Buckethead. You know that? <laughs> Lord Brexit. <laughs> uh, I ate so much, I cannot move, so I am here. Okay, that's why, yeah, okay, fair enough. I understand that. Uh, before uh, COVID, Norwegian, before COVID, Norwegians were spending one and a half billion pounds per year on uh, shopping trips to the EU. Sweden and uh, looking forward to family visits from the UK for cheaper goods and beer. <laughs> beer is so expensive now. Crikey. Wine is ridiculously cheap. If you go to a bar, if you will get drunk, you go to a bar, a cafe, or a sports cafe, or something like that, just get wine. As soon as you get drunk on wine, you're like a euro a glass. That's so cheap. Uh, da, 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 da. The dogs are snoring. Lovely. Uh, compliments to this of the season to you and yours, says Brian to Joel. Uh, there we go. There we go. Da, 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 da. There we go. There we go. Questionable absanity. Hello there. Listen to LBC the last a week, and I've noticed a lot of people stating we need proportional representation. It might be because David Lammy and Various others have been stepping in this week. Um, I used to like David Lamb. I'm not keen on him now. He's got he's, he's turned into. A, a, I think it's ever since actually he made Brexit work statement. Uh, I kind of done it for me. That really done it for me. I did. Um, I'm not keen on him now. He can be really opinionated and arrogant, and he's, he says some stupid stuff sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes he reminds me of. Um, David Graham. It might be. I'll come, I'll come to him in a minute. Is it David Graham? The Mike Graham. Mike Graham on talk radio. Talk TV, sorry. Yeah. So, I, actually, I, do you want to laugh? Do you want to laugh? This, this, oh, crikey. He's made another idiotic statement as uh, Mike Graham on talk TV. <laughs> God's sake. This man is just unbelievably stupid. Stupid is not stupid does. Life is like a box of chocolate. I'm going to get myself a shrimp boat. Wow. Mike Graham starts his tweet here. 
Well, I sat saying, can you see it? You can't see it. Let's just let me just get it down a bit. There we go. Uh, Mike Graham says, Who needs these parasites? Good riddance. The NHS should fire them, he says. Well, further down, and he had a few responses. Yeah. He said, What a positive contribution, says Jackie Dodman. Uh, um, do, you, do you make to UK society, Mike? And then Mike replies, he does. Yeah. He's, he's like a little wily. Anyway, he, he replies. I, oh, I cheer millions of people up, he says. Cheers them up, he do. Yeah. And I pay a lot of tax. You? With a question mark. Well. Yeah, he, he said further down here, he says. Uh, well, since Warren war Miller uh, photo of photography. Uh, Warren Miller photo of uh, Fire them, and then what? It's an honest question. Which you must uh, know the answer to if you if you're serious about sacking them. And then he says, "They're trainees, wasted already. Oh, and their own time. We need doctors who are willing to serve patients and not activist students." So I replied to him, I did. And I told him. Well, after I told him he's an idiot. Anyway, I told him, "Well, you've got to have students before you can have doctors." Haven't you? Then I asked him if he could grow concrete. He's probably blocked me. I don't know. No, he hasn't gone. I'm on there. So, <laughs> what an idiot. Just these people are just so dumb. And there he was making this statement regarding well, concrete. Fruit. Well, yeah, well, back then, of course, last year. That just, just, he's been um, he's interviewing this young uh, carpenter geezer who's also an environmentalist and that. And he was trying to uh, uh, criticise him. For chopping down trees, you see. And this young uh, carpenter says, well, trees are regenerative, which they are. Get back. And plus, most of the trees that are being cut down for... Um, Smaller in number, are we? It's usually but Spurs larger and in mind. And stuff like that. <laughs> and yeah. uh, brought to the UK. And they are regenerative. They're plantations. Part of the um, <clears throat> Federation of Blood Little Forestry, might have you. Anyway... He replied this young young chap, he said, Well you can't grow concrete, he goes. And Mike Graham he goes, Yes you can. What a bonga. You can't grow concrete. Not literally in its literal sense. No. You can foam it, you can expand it, you can create rock concrete, which collapses and yeah, well, well uh, now. Anyway, yeah. It's just an absolute idiot. And we're back into the chat. Oh Crikey, what have I seen? Oh, crikey. Brian McGuire. Oh, cheers, my friend. Oh, thank you very much. You're most kind. He says, I missed the food streams, and it was Christmas last week. So keep up the great work. Comments of the season to you and yours. Uh, and if you give Mad Monk a life parents, I want one too. <laughs> Where have we got Chad's Wally Bra thing? The, the parages. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, mate. Re yeah, not be funny, but you... you you know, everyone's support and love and what have you. It really keeps the channel alive, you know. It really does. Sometimes, yeah, even for instance, if you feel a bit low about stuff and what have you, or try to have do this, what have you, and you get the feedback you get is so, it's, it's, it's nice, you know. It's just nice. Sometimes we all need a bit of a boost, don't we? Especially when you feel a bit down and what have you. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate everything. To be fair, I appreciate um, everyone's support. No matter how small it is, it doesn't matter. It just makes a difference. It really does. And also, gives the Mrs. Abby. <laughs> she says, what are you doing that for? You can't afford to keep doing that, she goes. <laughs> well, also, don't forget we've got the rewilding going on here in France as well. We're planting trees. And we, we were going to plant trees today. Let's start peeing it down. Got a fresh can of petrol for our post hole board to drill the holes. And then today it's... Peter, well, not well, it's, it's dry now, but it's dark. But you know, it's peeing it down. So that's what we were going to do today. We're going to be planting trees today. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be planting some more trees. So I want this year, I want to get the first field planted and finished. Well, I'll say finished, there's still be stuff to do, but pretty much done. So I'll, then we can move on in the later in the year, <clears throat> the end of, you know, once the hot weather's out of the way, if we get any. And um, we'll start on the other field then. So, yeah, I'm really 
so I'm really excited about it actually because it's one of the things it's um start makes you feel good about yourself it feels that you're doing something you're giving something back it was like my grandfather used to say when well he, he was about 60 at the time long long time ago and he said um well it's part of the tree basically and he says and i said what about a tree for you never gonna it's gonna be you'll be gone before well, i didn't say it like that but you know you'll be dead basically <laughs> before you can even see any benefit from this tree or whatever and he says well it's not for you boy is it that's oh, it's not for me boy is it for your generation you know that's the thing about trees you say we're planning for future generations you're giving something back but just not for people not just for people but for you know for every little living creature that yeah you know, they can benefit from it you know habitats and all that that's really important i think and we've noticed a massive change here and i don't know if it's because we're more aware of it or not i don't know because the trees aren't that big yet obviously um smaller in number habitats, are we? like the little houses but larger like in that, mine in, you know, <laughs> bird, bird boxes have bird houses and bat boxes and uh owl, owl houses and stuff like that they have been getting habitated even my flipping tie fighter one that i built last year that's that's had it's got it's got birds in it now they're not nesting and they're just living in it i thought they left <laughs> but no anyway i do apologize i'm, I'm, I'm rambling on. so anyway so oh, there we go listening to lbc last week i noticed a lot of people stating that we need proportional representation and obviously we do but he, he, don't get me wrong i think it's something fantastic but it ain't gonna happen every government that gets into power do not want to share it why why would they give why would they give proportional representation unless they were getting close to the end of their tenure and it ain't looking good then they might consider it where they might still have a say because not be funny you know I mean? it's not since uh tony blair that we we've had a labor government i've lost count how many uh, prime ministers we've had with the coalition didn't we nick clegg and Cameron, then we had Cameron, and then we had, oh crikey, Liv and Theresa May, Boris Johnson, Liz Truss, and, oh what's his name again, oh that little run, oh him, Richie Sunak, that's just nuts, and there's still a possibility we might end up with another one, because his tenure ain't looking good is it, no, he can't even do a public address without being, well, fringe-worthy. Wishing us all a happy new year and Christmas and God's wealth and... Oh, talk about sickly. Blimey. It's, it's like... It's like a form of ham acting, but he's really, really trying to be sincere. But we all know what he's really about, you see. I think... Actually, I know he is. I think he's worse than Boris Johnson. I really do. You know, I'll say, you know, uh, um, you're better the devil than you know. Boris Johnson was obvious. Kipper. That he was. Richie Sunak trying to come over with his, uh, all these little schemes and what have you, doing COVID. Eat out to help out and all that. Yeah, that did well the good, didn't it? Yeah, feed the virus, why don't you? Yeah. And paying people not, not to go to work and apart unless you're self employed, of course, you know, small business or what have you. Don't help them, no. It's like some kind of saviour as far as some people are concerned, uh, but no. It's just all a ploy, wasn't it? This whole thing's a ploy. It's like you've been scammed. I think he's just evil, personally. I just think he's just a horrible man. Absolutely, just the most horrible little man. Oh, disgusting little career. Yeah. Oh, oh, there was something else up there a minute ago. I saw something a minute ago. What did I, what did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, cheers, Ron. John Roycroft. Happy New Year from Ireland. Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Oh, my lucky charms. It's <laughs> to a better 2024. I think it's going to be better. Isn't it? It's got to be. The first half might be a bit, how to put a bit of vitriol. You can imagine what this campaign, the Tory campaign, to try and 
hold on to a few of their seats is going to be vicious. It is going to be vicious. Now, for all uh, my... <sighs> unhappiness regarding... I was going to say something else, but I can't say that. And that is regarding you know, a bit of a Labour government, not because of Labour, because of, because of what they've said of late. I still, hand on heart, believe it's going to be a darn sight better than what we got. <laughs> it's going to be chalk and cheese. I mean, it's going to be absolute, it's going to be a bliss in comparison to what we got. But it's still going to be shit. It really is. is my, I've told you before, my worry is that when you get to the next general election, that Labour would not have um, fulfilled all this, their pledges, what have you. Okay, you got the next two next five pledges. Oh, crikey, quite. She had a baby. Uh, oh, no baby yet. No baby. No, I think tomorrow, not tonight. She's still stuck. That's not it. That's not quite here. Is yet. it still stuck? Do they need lard on it? I don't know. What about suction? I'm sure she's not thinking. Now, if you had a mould, okay, like for instance, a fiberglass about a boat mould, right? You'd put a little valve in, you know, like like a car valve, a Woods's or a Presto they or something. Do, they do do uh, that, create... but the baby has to be sort of nearly there first. Well, no, but it's great back pressure. You help on its way. No, I don't think they can do yeah. that. Why not? Have you finished all your cheese? Oh, no, have I finished? What? I have not finished. I've had hardly any cheese, but it's there. Because <laughs> we've got, you know. Cheese markets, pork markets, lists. Talk about pork markets, what about a bit of pork markets? In December, I'll be in Beijing, opening up new Steve pork markets. Liz, get me some cheese. Oh, not that cheese. No, get canistin for that. Oh, crikey. We're drinking down. Do you have canistin for cheese? <laughs> Don't even that apple cider vinegar. That'll do the job, I'll tell you. Oh, dear. So anyway, so no baby yet. Lie me. We're quite funny if you have it, you know, before I end my end the live stream. What are we doing at the moment anyway? One hour, I've got to do the other bits yet. And I must finish by half past eleven my time. So I've got to keep that keep my mind. Yeah. I've been told I have. Oh you get I've really got to see do you have me and talk to the grandchildren and the and the children and oh, God, it's too many to list. Damn work phone, says Brian McGuire. Ooh, damn work phone. Oh, watch out! Cold snap due at the end of January. Can you remember when it was at twenty twelve? Oh, crikey. I don't know. I can't remember what it's like in the UK. But flipping hell, I have never been so cold. The, the, um, the heating system could not cope with it. We were breathing out steam. Every, oh, the water, the water pipes just froze. I actually, because we're on well water here, I put a hose right, from the well to the house before the water could get to the house. Smaller in number, are we? But larger in mind. <laughs> I just, oh, blind me. These things are sent to try us, aren't they? Oh, rude. Oh, great. Okay, I'll make a note of that now. Do, 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 do. Right. Excellent. Thanks for that, Roof. Right, copy, copy, copy. Let me just, bear with me. Let me just put this into my, uh, uh, oh, here. I've got a file here, you see, with all the names and stuff. I better find it, though. Um, list. No, but ah, still need to list. There we go. It's all slimy. Oh my god, I've got loads of signs to make. I've done those ones. I'll skip it. Right, I'll just put you in. You're in. Thanks, Ray, for letting us know. Excellent. Cool. Oh, that's strange, that's because when you when you make a donation, you can actually um request at the time, you can comment at the time. But also, we have got me um you can do emails via the website, also via my woodworking channel as well. There's a contact um email on there. Uh, I know you wouldn't know that, obviously, but yeah, Ex excellent. Oh, thanks, Larry. Nice one. We'll do that. Uh, do, 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 do. I've got my lays now. Um. I didn't buy it. I've got this lovely. Oh, but now this thing's cool. Um, I've got a laser that's been do, uh, donated to me of a channel, and it's uh, I'm gonna use that on for the signs and stuff. Well, not all of them, but a lot of the signs. Um, you know, if, 
probably depends how many words you'll get on, but it probably means I'll better get more words on, so people might better put messages on their songs, which would be pretty darn cool. So yeah, lays in the graver. So I cut up to an inch ochre wheel. It's freaking amazing. So do, 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 there we go. Do, do, do. Hello there, hope you're well. I know I'm not I'm still not pronouncing it right. I heard somebody pronounce your name earlier. Three days ago actually. Um respond to somebody else for the same name. And uh I, I, I hang on, that doesn't sound like I'd say it. <laughs> Uh, big live is live in thirty minutes. Big live. Oh crikey! Uh, anyone missed it? Anyone missed what? I went to my local town for a day out yesterday. Come off. I uh, went to a rained off rugby game, and all and all the rain got totally drenched, and very, 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 uh, very, very, very uh, drunk. It happens, you know. Yeah, it's, it's like slipping on. A banana skin or a glassier cherry and accidentally falling inside of him. Oh, blimey. That's a little bit of reference, by the way. Uh, I'm, I might have to, have to oh, okay, Brian, I'll have to go. Uh, listen, Happy New Year to everyone, members, subscribers, etc., families, and friends. Thank you very much, my friend. And yeah, Happy New Year to you and yours. It would be absolutely fantastic this year. I'm sure of it. It's not going to be as bad as last year. I think the first half might be, but the second half will be good. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we used to live... Oh, there you go. Oh, missed it. I've lost it now. Oh, I used to live with a bird. Oh, okay. With a bird, but she left me for a worm. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Oh, dear. Uh, apparently, William uh, Garden Tillers are good. I don't know what the re relevance is there, Jasper, but that's fair enough. Whatever you're into, I don't know. Is that some sort of code name? Hmm? Sauciness. Oh, anyway. Oh, blimey. So, uh, da -da -da, scroll on down, scroll on down. Make sure big Clive. He's going. He's doing a pissed you stream. Oh, right, okay. He began gaya and gaya, and the more he drinks. Okay. It's Big Clive, I don't know Big Clive. You mentioned them before, and I haven't actually checked them out. I might have to now. Uh, right, anyway. <clears throat> Where were we? Because time's pressing on, and I'm forgetting stuff. All right. So, we've got these two numpties. So, there'll be more numpties in... <clears throat> so, we've got Jake Rees-Mogg. He's attacking what they call... Pro who faced Puritans over trust on its criticism for so Jacob Rees Mogg. So the former business secretary defends the right of uh, ex, ex prime minister to give out peerages after only 49 days in office, as Labour calls, a yeah, slap in the face for all their work and people. The whole system is. The whole system is. Uh, Sir Jacob Rees Mogg has attacked critics of Liz Truss's honours list, calling them poo faced Puritans. The former Prime Minister allowed to submit her so called resignation to honours after leaving office last year in a convention. Well, I've gone through that already. But, uh, what did he say? Labour called it a slap in the face. And. Oh, yeah, but Sir. Sir. Oh, quite, you remember that? Mr. Lucky Legs. Lucky they hold him up when he was getting his peerage. Yeah, crikey. It was shocking, it was. It was just like Liz Truss when she, well, when she see the king. Lovely to see you again. Great pleasure. Anyway. Oh, it's great pleasure. Anyway. Are they criticising Megan? <laughs> like me. Oh, crikey. Anyway, so, so Jacob Rees Mogg, who serves. Da, 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 da. Okay, it's night as Boris Johnson's resignation list said it was right, the right of the former Prime Minister to make the nominations, and it was a reasonable way to allow her to thank those who have helped her to serve, serve, boy, oh, thanks. Uh, in the highest elected office in the land. Oh, in the land. Oh, my God, it's that bad. Look, just stay of him. <laughs> You just want to slap him with that, you know. Kipper. Maybe more than once. Kipper. Maybe. Oh, God. And Bennett. Oh. Do you know what, though? 
He's diluting, diluting the gene pool he is. By having all those kids. Poor little blighters that they are. Now he told Sky News, Prime Minister support parties need support that goes well beyond a 9 to 5 job and those who support them are trying to, their best to fulfil the democratic mandates held by the PMs. No, they're not. They just hand over what's the cash so they can manipulate. That's all it is. It's about control and power. Lobbying. Look at the next Prime Minister, one of, oh, what was his name again, David Cameron. Oh, crikey, he's got his peerage now, hasn't he? For different reasons. Have we all forgotten flipping, oh, what's it called now, Greensill? I nearly did. <laughs> In fact, he lobbied, look at government money, out of Richie Sudak. So, honours have long oiled our political system. No, they have oiled your pockets. And they greed. It costs nothing. And costs nothing. So, it is hard to see what the harm is, except it upsets the po oh, no, po faced Puritans. This man, he's just unbelievable. He's so foul. Crikey. Look, po faced Puritans. <laughs> I met him in a dark alley. Uh, not alley, alley. Alley? Yeah, alley. As a, yeah, a little dark place where people don't tend to go to get mugged. Just like Batman's dad and mummy. Well, oh, do you know what? I've had enough of this lot already. I have. But I want to get into Richie soon. Uh, not literally. Look, no, 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 no. So, yeah, I did say that Labour pledges to uh, clean up the politics after uh, outrage over Liz Truss's honours list. She should never crikey. Uh, so Shadow, uh, Shadow Front Bencher says Keir Starmer should have not re uh, would not have a resignation honours after appalling spectacle of ex... Well, we don't know that, do we? To be fair, we don't know that. Something needs to be done about it. So that is, the whole thing is a flipping shambles. And talking about cheese, Liz Truss, what have you. Well, cheese maker sells firm over, to overcome Brexit barriers after losing uh, 600,000 in, in sales. Remember him, uh, Spurrell? Uh, is it Simon Spurrell, I think it was? Simon Spurrell, I think it was. Um, a Cheshire cheese company. And uh, like they end up selling it. I think they went into some sort of partnership and then the EU company ended up buying the whole basic, basic that part of the business. So the cheese maker, British cheese maker, has sold its business to a large rival to regain access to customers in the European Union. That's all to do with business, uh, not normally it's a <clears throat> business to business or business to customer model. So sales. So let's say for someone come onto their website and bought a little truckle of cheese, that this company would then send it directly to the customer. But now with 230 quid's worth of um, costs, photosanitary and what have you, the actual import costs of that cheese doesn't kind of make sense when the cheese only costs like a tenner for this truckle of cheese or stuff like that. So yeah, it destroyed his export market into the EU. So he did try to sort it out, but ended up selling it off basically. That was side business. And it was a Welsh company from not Welsh, it was a Cheshire cheese company from Welsh or something. So cheese makes sales firm of in Cheshire. So obviously, yeah. Cheese company bought by Joseph Elliot Cheese. So, yeah, benefit of Brexit and all that. You know, destroying businesses, that's what it does. Mikey, but And now, there's Liz Truss and her tiny che cheese, tiny cheese, tiny chair in Canada. Can you remember that? Crikey, it's a British cheese in Canada about to get harder to find, more expensive as trade deals runs out. So December the 31st this year will mark the end of the temporary arrangement. It's like, uh, yeah, members of the so to speak, in which Ot uh, Ottawa offered London a special quota of cheese that could be imported under low tariffs. Remember that? How it was, oh, touted as some kind of benefit of Brexit. 
And while our Canadians uh, will still be able to buy British cheese, such as Wes uh, Wesley Dale, Stilton, Red Leicester, most of it is likely to be taxed as much, or at a much higher rate. But not only that, like it from other places, wouldn't they? Where they have trade deals. Or parallel trade um, imports. So Canadian supermarkets will uh, soon see their supply of British cheese crumble. Oh, a bit Wesley down. As both countries seek fair trade terms following the uh, United Kingdom's exit from the European Union. Benefit of Brexit, eh? Very good deal, there we go. Uh, so, December 31st will mark the end of the agreement with a quote, uh, special quota of cheese that could be imported under low tariffs. Now, while Canadians will still be able to buy Wensley Dale, Stilton and Red Leicester, most of it will likely be taxed at a much higher rate. For Canada, temporary off the UK, the same tariff uh, rate for cheese that the European Union gets. I still got. So, you still going to get your Irish cheddar. Mm-hmm. Bet you will. In Canada. Goodaloo. <laughs> so, so, that the European Union gets in the hopes that Oswald will uh, have signed a permanent a trade agreement with the country by this year. Now, even with the clause uh, next in 2020, interim continuity agreement remains in place that eliminates tariffs and 98% of Canadian exports to the UK. So we're still going to get UK uh, imports from Canada. Now, during the first round of talks for a new permanent uh, trade deal, uh, Canada told the UK it couldn't uh, have a larger quota for tariff-free cheese than it had under the previous deal between Canada and the European Union. Brexit! Dairy. <laughs> I've been wondering what that special place in hell looks like for those who promoted Brexit without even a sketch of a plan how to carry it safely. You don't say, Mr Tusk. Polish Prime Minister. So, right, the rise of the right was a bit scarier, weren't it? Eh? And it still is. Blimey. And then you got the rise of the right also across Africa and that as well, you know, with all these coup d'etats and like, it's getting a bit kind of scary, really, isn't it? Right across Africa. And then Germany. You got the right as uh, well, they're gaining the seat there now, haven't they? Don't they? That's called now, but and then you got uh, was it Gert Wilders, Blondie in the Netherlands, very worrying. Oh my god, I forgot one, Maloney as well in Italy. So, yes, it's not very helpful, not if you like cheese or like to sell cheese to Canada, so ain't gonna happen so much now. Um, and let's not forget, let's, let's not forget. Brexit blow exports to Japan a slump after landmark free trade deal. Slump. Exports slump. You're supposed to get more exports, aren't you? Hmm? Would you have a trade deal? But no, 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 no. We're special. Like we are. Well, trying to sell lactose products such as cheese and yogurt. I don't know. I'm guessing. What <laughs> cheese? <laughs> Most of them are lactose intolerant in Japan. Well, there is something I promised I was going to share with you. And I almost forgot. It's four minutes long, but this is definitely worth a listen to. This is hilarious. It is the Marsh family songs. Oh, no, it's the wrong one. Oh, that one. There you go. <laughs> And they have done a song. They've done three songs, which is just one of them, okay? And uh, here's our final song of 2023 about deserving folk receiving New Year's honours. So we'll play this and then we'll get into where uh, Richie's seen it, but not literally. It's split in two. We've got a legend no one can explain. <laughs> Who is Charlotte? Hmm? Who is Charlotte Owen? We all know that it ain't much. 
Tight when a donut gets a go Or advisors whose advising was so manifestly wrong Our convention be for merit, not for charlatans and frauds They're dumbing down the House of Lords As in Roman times, corruption hangs around like putrid fog There's no horse yet made a consul, but, but the surgery could be smog We've gone back to cast for honours, family patronage and stunts Where does it end? A bunch It's a fabric cat and it was That'll the first time I'd ever That'll actually, I never actually remembered to go or advise the supervising with some manifestly wrong accolades because I always used to forget that bit and just join in on, or just join in on. Sorry for making you suffer. <laughs> He's supposed to be voting Tory. I don't think so. Yeah, they they got voices like angels, Joey. Oh, Take care, Kuta Lou. Yeah, good one. I need another beer. <laughs> uh, marsh tits, lovely birds. <laughs> oh, they are, they are. That's the fireworks that started in, in Edinburgh. Glad Marks is here to drown it out with his Brexit road. Oh, Brexit. Oh, shit. I hate Brexit. Ugh. What are you doing in there? My oh, dog's gone behind my, bench, my desk. What are you doing in there, Wally? Blimey, what are they like? So, there we go. What have I missed? Dark nostalgia from the 80s. It's very, very much like that. Very pantomime Forced to sing. <laughs> this is worse. I've been mean, forced to sing in the church choir. <laughs> what a treat. This is oddly surreal. That is surreal. You're not wrong. The screen on my Android smartphone. Just crack. <laughs> Who are they? The Piffle family, Soprano Quartet. The song created more suffering than this dress. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, there. I play Charlotte Church. Well, she, uh, she did one the other day on her Twitter. What'd she do? Okay. Uh, oh, it's time pressing on. Time's pressing on. Oh, I'm spilling things down. Nearly spilling stuff. Nearly. Not quite. Nearly. All right, Charlotte Church. What does she do? I know who Charlotte Church is, but... I didn't see it. Can't say it at the moment. If you can find me a link, I'll, I'll give a look. But I, I really must do what I gotta do. Yeah, I gotta do. So what we're gonna do first. We're gonna bring all this stuff up. Okay, that's what I want. That one over there. That gotta go there. And what? Well, yeah, that one. Yeah, okay. And that one's gotta go there as well. Oh, all right. And that one's gotta go there as well. Okay. All right. I'm shifting. I'm shifting my friend over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, there. Okay, I'll try get on the Bismarck. Right. Yeah. Okay, there we are. We're there. Right. It's Dominic Cummins. Oh. Don't you love him? Mm -hmm. No. No, nor do I actually cover that. So. There was some... They were, was it in the Times? It was, it was on Sunday Times or something. Anyway, uh, about Dominic Cummings visiting, being invited to have talks with Richie Sonak. Yeah. They did it twice. Yes. But it's more interesting than that. It is. It, honestly, I, 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 it's true. Well... There we go. 
in December, I'll market. be in Don't Beijing, opening no. up new pork markets. No pork markets. Oh, right. <laughs> ain't uplifting. No. I think it's rather uplifting. No, it's not. No. Well. Oh, look. It's him. Crikey. How the hell does anyone manage to get photographed that badly? There's day of him. It's frightening. I reckon he's got a suppository. Not uh, one that's uh, involuntary. I think it's a voluntary suppository. They come with jewels in and stuff like that, apparently. So I've heard. I wouldn't know. No. Anyway, so Tories express alarm at uh, Dominic Cummings' secret election talks with Richie Tunack, apparently. Yeah. And some Conservatives say PMs reported their meetings with uh, Boris Johnson's former chief aide well, show a lack of judgment. Really? Well, what, Dominic Cummings? Mm hmm He was running the government. Well, it looks like Richie Sunak wanted him to do it. Yeah, again. But Dominic Cummings, so he reckons, is not going to have any of it, no. Well. So Conservative MPs have expressed anger. Yes, 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 yes. So. Do, 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 do. He offered Dominic Cummings a secret deal to help him win the election. Richie Sunak, that is. With one saying, Boris Johnson's former chief aide should have no place in political life. No, he should be on the pike. That's where she, he should be. As a warning to all others that want to dream up some kind of thing like uh, Brexit. Alongside uh, Nigel Farage. Oh, crikey. Now, he's getting a little bit hard to put, a bit too active in politics. He wants to come back, he did. Is that what this... Well... I'm a celebrity to get me out here was all about. Maybe. Maybe that's what it was. It was a restarting. Like they usually do, don't they? Let's restart their, their career. In this case, as a politician. Will he end up taking... Lysa's place? Richard Lysa's place? As leader of the uh, Reform Party? Well, he can do. Because the Reform Party isn't like any other party, no. It's run like a limited company. It's literally a business. And who owns it? Nigel Farage. So. So. These people, eh? So, other Tory MPs have commented in the WhatsApp groups. I wonder if they what, 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 so inadvertently mislaid that WhatsApp messages anyone? No? Anyway, to uh, express opposition to the idea. First revealed in the Sunday Times, with some saying it showed a lack of uh, judgment by Sunak. And now they've likened it to uh, letting an arsonist into your home. Oh. So, down in the street, has not denied that Sunak met him, uh, or met Dominic Cummings twice. Not once, but twice. Anyway, twice. For discussions. But rejected Cummings. But rejected Cummings. Contention on what this involved. So yeah, Dominic Cummings. He wanted something in return, you see. I wonder what that could be. Well, I've got his sub stack here, so we will see. So anyway, saying that the Prime Minister simply had a broad discussion with him. Well, yeah, OK. Will you please run the Tory party for me? Run the government. You do a brilliant job of Boris Johnson. And you made Brexit happen. You did. Yeah, we want you back. We do. I do. Yeah, I do. Please. Because I'm about to lose my job. Oh, well, there you go. For being the cunt. Anyway, so Cummings, um, one of the architects of the successful uh, Vote Leave campaign, was sacked by Johnson after less than a year, but remains one of the most controversial Figures in UK politics. We keep rearing his ugly head with. Oh, well. One investigation after another. But, let's get something straight. Dominic Cummings made quite clear he's not a misogynist, no. He treated everyone like cunt. But he did. Sorry, I said it again. I'm blimey. Well. <laughs> God, so bad. It's just, I wonder if they discussed it in the Rose Garden. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> maybe it was, oh, well. Maybe it was doing a, oh, a drive-through eye test or something. I don't know. Maybe. 
So part of it, uh, this comes from his apparent breach of lockdown rules when he took his uh, family to London, to the northeast to, uh, in, of England, in spring 2020. And he is also notably a brave figure accused by others of being at the centre of a toxic, misogynistic and arrogant cabal of advisors in Johnson's number 10. Boris Johnson is one of them. He was there and did nothing about it. So he's as bad as what they are. I didn't say whether anyone in that environment who didn't speak up against it are all complicit. They all need to be drawn through the coals, they did. Oh, coals? Coals. Yeah. Maybe. They need to be stoned. Like a knife of Brian. Yeah. Blasphemy! What's happened like that? Well, according to the Sunday Times, Cummings and Sunak held talks in North Yorkshire, they did, yeah, where the Prime Minister's constituency is located in July. Cummings had previously had a meeting in London in December 2022 with Sunak and Liam Booth Smith, Sunak's chief of staff. I wonder if he'll get a peerage. Well, that's what the report added. Now, Cummings told the Sunday Times Sunak had offered him a private role preparing for the next election, but that the PM would not agree to his terms. Oh, so I wonder what his terms might be. Oh, well, his terms happen to be on his sub stack. Let's make that a bit bigger. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Temporary location for statement <laughs> on his sub stack. Make that a bit bigger. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, still a little bit small. Blimey, it's good. Not formatting very well. Oh, God, that, that work on. oh, crikey, I've lost it now. Oh, crikey, come back. There, there. Okay, there we are. Right. Uh huh, there we go. All right, oh, I'll, sh I'll have to do. We don't we give away cookies. Don't want cookies. So, this is Dominic Cummings responding, yeah, to the Sunday Times story. Now, I don't know why people in number 10 start blabbing about the PM talking to me, but the blabbing eventually has got to the Sunday Times, which is writing the story. So here, well, here's some facts. According to uh, Dominic Cummings, remember it's Dominic Cummings. The man is complete and utter ass wipe. That is. But he, I have to admit, he shouldn't do, but he does make me laugh sometimes. It's, it's unreal. And the way he writes things as well, it's just... Bizarre. And he abbreviates things when everything else is like you, you know, using the full word and what have you. Then it, then you abbreviate the odd word. It doesn't make any sense. You only do it a lot or you don't do it at all. So, there was an entirely false report in October that I was helping number 10, says Donald Cummings, and was involved in the party conference, etc. Wrong. Oh. I had zero involvement in the conference, and I have done zero work for number 10, or CCHQ. Now, some of the speculation and gossip seem to be simply because, hey, I've said for you, well, simply because, how, how, how am I supposed to work out with that? Some of the speculation and gossip seem to be simply, A. Is A code for something? Simply shit? Simply crap? Simply rubbish? I don't know. I've said for years, uh, the HS2 project is a corrupt fiasco. I happen to agree with them with that. That was a corrupt fiasco. I think it should carry on, but not as a corrupt fiasco, as a non-corrupt fiasco. Ten times per kilometre it costs in the UK for HS2. Than it does for any rail link in France, for instance. Ten times more. It's not surprising when uh, Alexander borrows to Pepple Johnson's father. He got paid up 15 million or something. Something like that. Compensation because his house got knocked down. It was on route or something. Anyway, where the station was going to be. So, God, I said for years, Edge of Project is a cor corrupt fiasco that should be stopped and everything published to expose the incompetence and crimes. Can't argue with that. I tried and failed to do this in January 2020. And what? <laughs> and B. Whatever that means. I don't know. And B. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. And the PM confirmed at conference it is uh, in indeed an enormous fiasco, even more so 
ran in January 2020. So Thrombins confirmed this at conference. Now, it is indeed an enormous fiasco, even more so now than in January 2020. But I did have two conversations with the Prime Minister. The first in 2022, just after he became a PM. So even before he didn't got the seat warm, he started to call, Hey, hey, oh, oh, Dom, I need your help, Dom. I don't know what I'm doing. I ain't going to know what is this Prime Ministerial lag. I don't know what I'm doing. Father-in-law, you know, the boss of Inuis, 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 Inuis. Anyway, he, he keeps telling me what i got to do. Yeah. But I have, oh, actually, I, I, I don't know if you heard, but Inuis lost a 1.5 billion contract. All right. Which is quite interesting because the 1.5 billion contract there was one. Uh, there was a 1.5 billion um, contract after Richie Sunak signed. Got yeah, done some more licenses for some oil rigs. You see, because this contract for Innes, 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 Innes. Oh, I can't say it now. Um, was with BP, and now they've just announced cancellation of a contract. I wonder if it's the same one. I haven't heard yet. Unless you have, let me know. Uh, so, but I did have two conversations with the Prime Minister in the first in 2022, just to become PM. And the PM wanted an actual plan, including how to grip power. How to grip power with the short and curlies. And get things done. <laughs> oh, crikey. Let's get Brexit done. <laughs> oh, I'm to cry. Oh, I feel like a Brexit Grinch. So... Political strategy and political machine to change the political landscape and beat Labour. <laughs> In 2022, I said I might do it. I might do it. I'll give you a hand. I might give you a hand. But my conditions, I've got conditions I have here, where the ability to ensure that action, uh, urgent action is proceeding on a range of fundamental critical uh, issues, including. <gasps> oh, I. The scandal of nuclear weapons infrastructure, which is a dangerous disaster and a budget nightmare to ha uh, of hard to believe and highly classified proportions, and which has a forced large secret cannibalization of other national security budgets. That's probably to do a try in huh? Probably to have, you know, how uh, the United States has got us by the shorter curlies. The building defences for natural and engineered pandemics. Okay. <laughs> Did we just have an inquiry about all this? What's happened with that? Correctly. Anyway, it's a scandal of the MOD procurement. Fair enough. Procurement across all government sectors are, is an absolute disgrace. It's all about profiteering, you see. Privatisation. Ignored despite uh, even because of and the biggest war in Europe since 1945. Artificial intelligence and other technological capabilities. It doesn't state what he means by that. The broken core government institutions, including the dumpster fire of the cabinet office. <laughs> the dumpster fire. <laughs> How can you argue with that, really? Uh, in all these areas, I started crucial work in 2019 to 2020. Most of this uh, has stopped, slowed, or reversed. Not surprising. For example, in 2020, we agreed via a secret, by a secret tunnel process with the services, HMT and Cabinet Office, chaired by the Cabinet Secretary and me, but kept secret. From Wallace, the first agreed by everyone to be an honest MOD budget numbers since before 2010. Agreed how to plug the massive black hole partly created by the nuclear enterprise a disaster. Agreed a range of disasters that should be stopped immediately, e.g. Ajax and Challenger. And agreed a plan for procurement reform and new capabilities to build. Also, 
note the uh, army did not lobby for a bigger army in the world or well that seemed possible in 2020 of a serious plan and honest numbers and procurement reform etc they preferred a smaller army with real capabilities to a bigger but increasingly potkin a potem potemkin potem oh i don't know kin army instead the mod had been allowed to to pocket the money for the black hole Avoid stopping disasters. Continue pumping more money down the drain of leg uh, legacy disasters. Creating a new black hole. You can argue that with uh, HS2. Because what they've done is basically, you cancel these contracts, like these companies that these contracts are being created with, they're going to flip and sue the hell out of the government. That's no black hole, isn't it? I continue to allow critical parts of nuclear weapons infrastructure not to what? Critical parts to rot, creating further massive secret budget nightmares, as well as uh, yes, you know, in a bit like the PPE, we had PPE that was basically just went out of date because we didn't maintain it. Keep up, you know, we keep replacing it, replacing it, replacing it, <clears throat> as well as extremely serious physical dangers. So yeah, for the recent air disaster with a submarine. What? What? What was that? Continue as normal with uh, continue as normal with a disastrous procurement. What's it? What submarines referring to? Does anyone know? What's that about? Continue so continue as normal with disastrous procurement policy and uh, practice instead of taking industrial capacity seriously. Continue sacrificing critical new capabilities to fund uh, legacy failures yet again. Ch shred the honest budget numbers and uh, return to fraudulent numbers. And continue lying even more to MPs and media all about it all. <laughs> What's that? I know it's Dominic Cummings in the Rose Garden. I, get, I know that, but crikey. <laughs> uh, bad man manners are playing Edinburgh. Oh, cool. I was listening to the Pogues. I've got an LP up there. Pogues LP. Uh... Rockets! Who's got rickets? You need to get some sun. Uh, 50 minute warning before stream ends or, or you're sleeping on the couch. Very, uh, no, it's four minutes now, mate. Four minutes. So we'll, I, will have to, I will have to shut down. The whole point is I must be available for the new year. Otherwise, I will be in, in the doghouse. Vicky Clay, hello, Dominic Cummings, run facts. <laughs> Tickets. Rockets. Okay, so that's about it. Okay, oh, was it my accent or well, the fact that like, my throat is very, very? I've got a problem with my um vocal cords. I thought it was to do with my thyroid, but it's not. It's um, I bugged my, my my vocal cords up according to the doctor. Never noticed that before, Perry. But now you mention it, Perry, 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 Perry. Hello, Perry. Scrolling up. Cummins is like one of those floaters that won't flush. <laughs> Talk about floaters. <laughs> yeah. I felt that one, I did. Uh, take care, number three, be good. Demonic Cummings. I'm getting tired. Season's great and sore. Take care, um, number three. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, more fireworks. Uh, this year, cause last year didn't happen. Quite possibly, uh, budget's bigger, I suppose, isn't it? More up and spoke, more money up and spoke. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> Cummins is just another N uh, NC Turnin Yoon Shill. Uh, you lost me, there, mate. Never know. Uh, uh, low blood sugar can cause anxiety to spike up because your body starts producing adrenaline to compensate. Better some more blood sugar. All those words, Dominic, uh, uh, cum dump, still has not said one single thing. Just empty words and dead ideas. Yeah, there's no detail, is there? In fact, it's got cheesy stuff. It's just like headlines. I got a blood test on the fourth, and I might die if I don't hold my breath. Okay, thanks for sharing it with us. 
Let us know if you do, wouldn't you, mate? Uh, Craggy. Well, that, that drinks is August. Oh, you did say earlier, but that's pretty amazing. Well done, mate. When I was on my diet, I hadn't um, had a drink. Can't drink on that diet. Ooh, it's just what we're keto, isn't it? Oh, you too. You too, Alistair. All shorts. You and yours have a great new year, my friend. You too, my friend. Uh, the astute and the trident replacements. Astute. Uh. <laughs> France is now 11.28. Yeah, 29 now. I will be shutting off in a moment. Oh, thanks for the uh, roof. Oh, lovely one. Thank you very much. The hog and drink is on me. Yay! Yes. <laughs> I'll get a couple of bottles of blog. Oh, lovely. Oh, thank you very much, Ruth. Much appreciated. It really is. Johnny Burst, end of the year in a comical fashion, which was uh, enjoyable. Oh, cry, Johnny Burst. Oh, that man. Oh, cry. I, I... <laughs> Who just misses that? Oh, cry. They're terrible, aren't they? Uh, there we go. Oh, thanks, Ruth. Well, oh, we've got unexpected uh, Smaller yeah, visitors. Smaller in number, are we? But larger in Sorry, mind. guys and girls. <laughs> I have to go. Just have unexpected visitors. Catch you all again. Thanks a lot, Mad Monk, for all your help in that as well. And that's the same to all the, uh, the, you know, the, yeah, the spanners. <laughs> the moderators to the channel. Because it makes life a lot easier. It, not just easier, just a bit of reassurance, isn't it, you know? People got eyes, especially if I'm blabbering along. I haven't got my eyes on the ball, then you see. And people could be saying all sorts of nasty stuff that they could. So, well, oh crikey! So that's the gist of it. What, what have I missed? What have I, have I missed? Uh, 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 except. So weak and desperate, Richie Sunak has been slammed over. Dominic Cummings, not literally uh, over them, that slammed over Noah. Oh my God, that's a vision. Don't want that. So on the eve of the election year, Richie Sunak has a dilemma. At what point should he lose? He's lost already. He's done. I think he's done. It's not, people don't listen to anything he says anymore. Whether it be his little speeches, no. Well, every time you see his little speeches, think about his credit card and the fact he doesn't know what to do with it. The barcode. Oh, whatever. So smarmy. So he barely took much time to relax over Christmas and he was back at his desk in Downing Street where most people were still trying to work out what day of week it was. The Prime Minister is well known for believing hard work will get you what you want. But even if he had worked non-stop throughout the festive period, he would have not got any closer to solving the fundamental mm -hmm, dilemma that faces him next year. Early or late, Sunak has, hasn't made his mind up whether to hold a general election in May or in the autumn. Either way, it ain't going to pan out too well. It looked like we're getting that earlier budget. So, I might, you know, there might be some little things in there to bribe people into voting for the Tories, but I don't think it's going to be enough. No, some people will, obviously. The headquarters is working on the assumption that your campaign headquarters, that the election could be at any point. But many MPs assume he will go early. Yay! Well, well that would be cool. But sent uh, one sent me his diary, which runs from the 6th of March budget as the start and gun for the campaign. That culminates to two, the 2nd of May. And the second week of May is ominously blocked off as an election recovery. Well... We will see. Anyway, I think I better go before I get it in the neck, and then it'll be something nasty. Yeah, it'll slap around my head. Something like that with the missus. Craig, I tell you, I'm under the thumb, you know. I really am. So, I'd like to thank everybody. <laughs> what tart and shortbread? Uh, what's that, Pope? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, just cook. Oh, Craig, you just caught that in the corner of my eye. Tart and shortbread. I don't, I don't understand. Politics channel, I just went and watched a song by Marsh Family. Yeah, I know, it's brilliant. <laughs> oh, I have to be honest, that did make me tickle. I really did. So, Happy New Year to everyone. Where's my glass? I was over here. I've got a glass. Yes, Star Wars glass, of course. 
Yeah, I know. I'm an even. It's not a wine glass, I know. So I'd like to say cheers to everybody. And have a fantastic new year. And it's certainly going to be an extremely interesting one. So I don't want to miss it. No. So I'm not going to give up any time soon. No. Because I keep saying I'm afraid of giving up. And then I, cut, I just cut us very hard, you know. Yeah. It's kind of part of you, you know. It do. So. You have a good one. Okay. What can I leave you with? I haven't thought this one through, have I? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a little medley of Liz Trust first. That's what we'll do. Right, we'll start with any mini mo any mo. Uh, well, how about a bit of Liz Truss when she got beaten by the Let's. But the structural reforms that we're about to deliver include the Brexit Freedoms Bill. The Brexit Freedoms Bill is a fantastic piece of legislation, defining constitutional piece That's of legislation channel, that will remove the dead hand of EU laws from our statute book finally. There are over 2,400 EU laws that will be amended or that appealed. That is a disgrace. It's not my freedom of expression to protest violently. No, you can't just start a riot or glue yourself to the roads and get away with it. Yes, friends, as Attorney General, I had to go to court to get some of these simple truths established. The judges agreed with me last week in the Court of Appeal in the Colston statute case. And that's why our public order bill will empower our police to stop this nuisance. So whether you're just stop oil, insulate Britain, or extinction rebellion, you cross a line when you break the law. And that's why we'll keep putting you behind bars. There you go, Tom Smoke. We need to fund the furthest behind first. And for too long, the political debate has been dominated by the argument about how we distribute a limited economic pie. Instead, we need to grow the pie so that everyone gets a bigger slice. The tree of recent times and an 80 seat conservative majority. And yet, Today, I see the same old faces, the same voices, the same old politicians making the same old tired predictions. I see a group of spineless ditherers, devoid of answers to any of the challenges the world faces or that our country faces. And yet, they're there, baying with disapproval We need to fund the furthest behind first. And for too long, the political debate has been dominated by the argument about how we distribute a limited economic pie. Instead, we need to grow the pie so that everyone gets a bigger slice. Oh, Caroline! Oh, Caroline! Where art thou? 
Oh, there you are. Uh, digging up more trees. Oh, my God. That threw me. Oh, my God. Who's oh, that? it's oh, Monsieur Patrolli. Oh, yes. <laughs> we're planting more trees. But today, we're planting trees around. Yes, we are. Into yeah. around. Yeah, around. Around. An arbor. Okay. An arbor. With the Archimedes screw. And with every tree we plant, we also plant a sign. Or with your name on, or maybe in memory of a loved one, you know. Well, yes, that's what we've been doing today, as you can see. Drilling holes for the Archimedes. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Trees are good, you know. They're good for the birds, the bees, and you and me. What on earth is he doing? Is it some kind of strange ritual? On how to measure the distance from the well. Oh look, there's a Wally! Oh, I do love me Wally, I do. You spin me right round, baby, right round. <laughs> oh, saucy! Yes, we're drilling holes for trains, yeah. So the trees are not just there for you or me, they're there for all to be, including all the birds and the bees. They need trees too, you know. It's like their habitat, you know. Oh, hello Wally. Oh, ain't he lovely? Oh, I do love me Wally, that I do. Drilling, I am drilling a lot of for the trees. I can't sing, you know. Obviously. Oh there, and there she is. She's helped me. She is the dear missus. Her indoors is helping to plant the trees. Oh, saucy! 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50! 50. 51, 52, 53 trees in our arbour. What do you think about 53 new trees in our arbour, darling? Everyone can see your derriere. Yeah, 53 new trees. I think we need three. another 53 somewhere. And then another 53. Yeah. And then another 53. And eventually, we might meet our goal. Of a thousand trees on two hectares of land. Yeah. And you can be a part of that, you know. And do you know what? There's something else we're doing as well. Not just arbors and planting trees on their own, like over there and stuff and in the other field. We're also planting trees together, like a couple. Yeah. They're like love trees, aren't they, darling? Like us. Are we like love trees, darling? No? Is that convincing enough? No, I don't no? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, like love trees. We'll plant two trees together and we'll be, we will entwine them. We will entwine the trees, darling, won't we? So they become one tree. So it would be quite nice. In memory of a loved one, maybe your parents or what have you. Well, there's a go family link down below. And you'll be a part of the project. Have your own tree. With your own sign to go with the tree. And yes, I've got a laser printer now, so I'll be printing these uh, uh, signs as well as using the router or even biography. Whatever comes to hand, I suppose. While the sun goes down over the horizon, Monsieur Patrolli enjoys a glass of white wine. Or oh, so he thought. So if you want to be a part of our rewilding project, there's a GoFundMe link down below for which you can have a trick planted on your behalf. Maybe for just for you. Or maybe a memory of a loved one. Yeah, that we are. Toodaloo! Just reading your comments.
Brave Billy Hill. Woke patrol, he plants trees. What an evil person he is. A tree is for life, not just for Christmas. Well, thank you everybody for supporting us the past year and having kept us going. And it's obviously appreciated, but you know, we haven't got to draw the Tories over the coals as much as we possibly can. And as a collective, we can do that, I'm sure. We kind of have. The Tories are, well, they're kind of done for, wouldn't you say? So, I'd like to thank everybody and the spanners, what have you, that have helped moderate, what have you, the channel. And uh, your support, obviously. So, I wish you the, the very best for 2024. And not just 2024, 2024, 2025, 2026, and, and so forth. And, yeah, anyway. Yeah, anyway, let's start with 2024. Have a good year. Yeah. And don't get too drunk. No. Anyway, I better go see the missus. Toodaloo.